Hey, it's BDF44 coming at you. I don't have anything to say. I just wanted to see if I had enough time on here after deleting a whole lot on my phone. And I have 43 minutes, so that's okay. Um, going through a lot. And I just want to encourage everybody who's going through a lot as well to keep that fight in you. Don't lose your fight. If you have people in your life that you go toward when things are not so good, make sure you re you cherish those relationships. Make sure that you take care of those relationships and be there for those people when they need you and you don't need them so much. When things are going very well in your life and they're sitting there with a crisis, make sure that you uh, address them and, and be there the best you can, way you can and do for them uh, in ways that you would want them to do for you. Don't do it because you want something back because when you need something back, you're not sitting there thinking about what you did for others. You're just desperate you need for help and need of help, I should say. And that is something that you can't afford to have people around you pause about. If you need help, you can't, you can't, they can't be pausing thinking about whether or not they should do it for you. So when it's time for you to do it for them, extend that same energy. Just drop everything and go. Yeah, that's my message, man. I don't want to get into my my concerns or my personal issues because they're all my fault. It's not like I can sit up and blame anybody for why things didn't go my way or why things haven't fallen in place just yet. It's on me. There's, there's a self-accountability uh, point of view that I have. It's not about who didn't give me what I should have had or who didn't provide me an opportunity or all that bull crap. It's about what you do and how you manage your time. It's about staying in the moment in terms of your motivation and not letting things that take place deter you. And those are areas of, 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 of weakness for myself. I tend to get down on things when things don't work out. And uh, I stop fighting a lot of the time. And that's, that's a poor example, which is why I speak against it. Don't stop fighting. You know, don't quit. A lot of you guys have family and friends and people that you can turn to for support. Lean on those people. Let them help you. Open up your heart to them. Let them be there for you. You know, I, I have a lot of friends and family too, but I'm not very close to a lot of people. I don't trust a lot of people. And for those people that I do trust, I don't want to burden them. But your, your relationships with people don't have to be like I perceive mine to be. Your relationships with the people in your life may just be a phone call and a conversation away from being um, a situation that is really fruitful for the both of you. I think overall this world provides a lot of adversity for people, especially people who don't have a whole lot. Whether uh, you're from America or from somewhere where things are better or worse, um, the poverty and, and and the way the system works, it's really set up for you to have to deal with a lot. And that's why I speak of meditation, um, you know, for those who are believers, prayer, for those who are non-believers, focus time where you get inside of yourself and try to figure out what it is that you want to do next in silence, quiet time and reflecting and things like that that can only come from quiet time and meditation. I haven't given myself enough of that and I need to work on that. But decision making, you know, decision making is, is, is key when you don't have a lot of resources. When you do have what you get, you got to make it last and you got to make it work. Um, you can't afford to become comfortable or to use your resources as a means of hiding from your responsibilities. Because when your resources run out or when things take a turn and your resources start to change, there will be actions that you will need to take and you will not be uh, battle ready 
battle tested to face the, the, the perseverance and the, and the adversity that's in front of you. That's why it's important to always stay ready, always challenge yourself, always look for things to do to make your situation challenged, challenging, you know, not not difficult, but continue to give yourself some resistance so that when stresses and things like that come, you don't completely fall apart, crumble. Um, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. That's what they say, and it's true. Uh, so as I come here talking to you guys, I, I understand that this is going to be a captured moment in time. So I try to make sure that everything I say uh, leaves room for hope and support and, and, and seeking and, and handing help over. Because those are things that are going to last far beyond the, the current moment this is being recorded. I mean, I'm, I'm a very small dot in a very, very large world. And the one thing that I can say for certain is that people will have to deal with the same stuff forevermore. It's the human condition. Perseverance, dealing with circumstances, dealing with heartache, tragedy, dealing with uh, antagonists and, and bullies, haters, um, trolls, anything and everything that we deal with today will continue to be dealt with over and over again. It's almost like the same souls keep coming back doing the same stuff, you know? That's almost what it appears to be uh, in regards to this planet. It's like, we just come back, do the same stuff over again, leave, and, and then somebody else replaces us and does the same thing and, and deals with the same stuff and goes through a period of time where they don't want to listen, think they know everything, and then they have that enlightenment. It's just a, it's a cycle. It's, it's a real cycle. So I think that even though I'm living in 2019, if this is seen in 2035, it should hold some relevance. Because it's all basic stuff. Just like if I were able to take a time machine and send this back to 1773. Somebody could relate to this somehow. Um, so I don't try to get caught up in my own moment too much. Especially when I'm on this camera. But right now, <clears throat> I'm very, very proud to say that the Lord has put me in a position to have to go a very long way which sets me up for a lot of pride, a, a reason to be proud if I'm able to overcome this. And I think that's how we got to look at our lives. We got to see the mountain that we need to climb as a means of, of obtaining uh, triumph in its journey. A lot of people look at the mountain, all they see is the task they don't get to see the glory at the top with the hands up screaming because they did it and then the pride that comes with knowing that it was done you accomplished it so now that I got a big hole to pull myself up myself out of or a big mountain for myself to climb um, I'm trying to make a very very aware make myself very aware of that triumph at the top of that mountain so for all of you who are facing a very, very difficult situation or those of you guys who are just dealing with a mountain that's in front of you, take what I'm saying for what it's worth. Um, nothing comes easy, but if, it, if you get it, boy, do you feel amazing. And uh, so, so try to obtain what it is you're looking for. Be, uh, be steadfast in your fight. Don't be deterred by... Uh, a hurdle here or a slippage there or falling off over there don't let that stop you from being hopeful and determined to reach your triumph anyway that's my motivation for the day I would love to say that I'm feeling great but that's not the case what I want to do is just in the midst of the way I'm feeling make others feel better or at least give you guys some understanding that you're not alone if you feel like me. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll keep going. You know, I don't, I don't have any interest in quitting. So, we remain. BDF, peace.